Alright, so my purpose today is to test this material. Acquired on eBay. It was like nine bucks. It's a military grade nylon mesh. So, let's see how it does. The reason I'm going with this is I looked at a lot of things like a Proaptos, a Barracuda Sop, uh, old cans, all of those types of thermal multispectral camouflage are based on mesh. Different types of mesh, different thicknesses, different hole patterns over layered many times. So I was very curious to see how layering up a couple of different types of commercially available mesh would work against thermal. Right. So this is the material that I was adding in. Let's see if I can get up close get a good view on it. There you go. So it's kind of thick mesh, but uh, the thermal properties were interesting on it. I used a zip ties and just jute twine. So this is a standard Arcturus ghillie. What I did was take that mesh and add it in. So that is what it normally is. And get my hand underneath here. You can see my hand right through it. It's pretty thin, it's lightweight, and it's designed to be that way. It's supposed to not overheat the wearer. But it also doesn't block thermal signature the greatest, this material. Layered with this though, it does a much better job. So I cut pieces in zip tied and twined it and then on the spots where the Arcturus doesn't have the ghillie material attached because there's gaps and then they sew in another round I cut in strips of this stuff this additional mesh and zip tied it into place so that underneath those in the pockets that didn't have coverage there was that additional, and you can see up here, I basically took solid panels, zip tied them in to cover, and then about the point where it would start overlaying with the ghillie material, I cut it up right into those spots. So this provides a thermal block, and then layers down into the rest of the ghillie material. So it just kind of mixes in naturally with it. So this has the additional thermal blocking material in the head, across the head, around the neck, and in the shoulder area across to here. Uh, further down though, it does not have the additional blocking. So you should be able to see some of the, the gaps in the ghillie material. And then here, maybe not so much. Down lower on the arms, like here, you can see where the mesh is covering my skin, but the thermal signature is shining through. The gilling material does a good job of masking that, but there's these gaps in thermal coverage. And my experiment was to see if adding in this additional layer of this mesh material in these areas would help block these gaps in coverage and yet still allow the, the suit to vent the heat and not heat up. And you can see there's a, some gapage there that I did not cover because I wanted to see how it would do.
but I'm very curious to see how that worked. Uh, I've not done preliminary testing on it. Um, basically, all I did was take that material and layer it, this material, and layer it over my arm single, and it was pretty effective. Double layer, and it was remarkably effective. Um, and that's at close range. Uh, we're talking within 20 feet. So I'm imagining a distance, it's going to get some really good coverage.